Sit down, Violet. We'll have a little drink. Then we'll have a little talk. I don't have all day. I have to rehearse and then I have to get my legs waxed. <laughs> Brought a little surprise for you if I can find it first. Champagne. It's incredible what's being thrown out in the garbage these days. <laughs> <laughs> this was taken from the garbage of an honest judge who would not be corrupted. He refused to wink his eye at the drug trade. He thought he was above the law until he got a hundred years in prison for not developing a convenient twitch. <laughs> what's the matter? Too warm? Wrong year. The cup is dirty. So what? Everything's dirty. Somebody else's mouth was on it. Somebody else's mouth is always on everything. Drink up! Drink up! <laughs> Such delicate sipping, like a little honeybee mouth. Drink up before the red spiders get here, and there is no more drinking. As one spider said to the other, time sure is fun when you're having flies. <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs> how's the business? with you-know-who, whose name is never allowed to be mentioned. It's boring. I put you in a great house with one of the great saviors of this country, a man known up and down the continent for his brilliant intellect, and you find it boring. He has little tags of skin on his neck, and <laughs> he combs his hair every which way so nobody will see how thin it is. And as old as you are. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you very much. This is the gratitude I get for taking you out of the fish packing plant and molding you into your new identity as Matahari? Who asked you to? I was happy at the fish plant. You were not happy at the fish plant. You tried to commit suicide at the fish plant. If I didn't fish you out of the harbor with my cane out of Augusta, you would have gone under for the 32nd time. I was happy at the fish plant. I had good friends. You had no friends? I had plenty of clothes and sheets of my own to sleep on. You had one dress, and it was stained front and back from where the men spread eagled you on the market floor. And if you found wrapping paper to sleep in at night, you were lucky. I had nothing. I had nothing and nothing and nothing but unredeemable selfishness and ingratitude. That is the quintessential nature of your existence. The sum of your being. And everything else is whim. In all this world, there is no truer love than the love Violet feels for Violet. Everything and everyone in it, you were born to betray. And sooner or later, you will understand this about yourself and stop floating around the air this way. So, how's business? I think he loves me. Good. How do you know this? He told me. So, when's the happy wedding day? I don't know. When do you want to? Do you want to? March 5th. Is that all right? March 5th is all right. July 19th, <laughs> August 12th, December 1st. Is that all right, too? That's all right, too. All of them? Any of them. All of them. Whatever. Same. Oh. Rana Haddad. Dan Eggleston. <laughs>